Hey, hi, hello. This is Saravanath from A4 Analytics, and today we're gonna see about how to switch specializations using buttons in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, we have buttons in Power BI. So how are we gonna use it and uh, mixing up with other features in Power BI to hide one chart and show another, and hide another chart and choosing and seeing another using buttons. Okay, so let's get started by creating a simple button. So in Power BI we have different types of buttons. We have left, right, reset, back and others but in our case we're gonna use a black uh, in a short term i'm gonna tell you why i'm using this so i have a pretty nice rectangle button and in the visualizations panel we have uh, different options so i want a text in the center of a button let's say chart. okay so i want that to be a white color i tell you why so I'm gonna fill this button uh, with some sort of color that would match a white. Okay, so, okay, I choose this one and uh, perfect. And I don't want dark lines. Okay, so we have a pretty neat button here. So I'm gonna copy paste it. To reduce the amount of time to be optimistic to be honest okay i gonna rename it as a shirt okay so we have two buttons now and we already have built the uh, two visualizations a uh, line chart and a select bar chart because when we hit this line bar chart we will we're gonna only see this bar chart and if we're gonna click line chart we're gonna only see line chart okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place this line chart just go to this bar okay so it fit out pretty nicely <clears throat> and we have two buttons and that is another feature that we need to use to achieve this target that is a bookmark so Bobby has this functionality for a couple of uh, months ago about this thing and uh, and this thing does a pretty unbelievable work. We can do a workaround, whatever things we need using this. So how to enable this? So we let's go to the view, and we have uh, options called bookmark. Let me choose this. Ads pop up, and along with this, we need another option called selection pan. So so this shows the object that's in the page, current page. So these are the objects we have. So we have a button. So when we click the button, you can see the line uh, button has been marked. When we click this one, you see the bar has been marked. And this is a line, and this is a bar. Perfect. And how we're gonna mix up with this? So when we hit this, so we don't see any changes here. So now we're gonna link this button. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna link this button to the each visualization. When a user hits, it needs to do some action. Okay, so what are you gonna do? We're gonna create a bookmark. How are we gonna do it? For some reference, for your reference, I just keep it over here so you get a more idea. So now, so you're gonna hide 
I'm going to create a action but an action for line chart. I'm going to hide this bar chart. So I will have a pretty nice line here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bookmark here. So when we do a bookmark, and as you should create a snapshot of the page layer we have and save it as under a name. Okay, I'm going to name this bookmark as a simple name, lion chart. Um, bookmark for the buttons oh, save it we're going to use it for later similarly we have this and now and i'm going to show this and the hide the line you get right here so this this is to show and hide the visualizations using the selection pane i'm going to add another bookmark here we're going to paste it uh, what we're going to do we're going to rename it bar chart bookmark okay anyways if we try to hit it shows nothing why because this button needs to be linked with something so that's where the action comes in button has a option called action here and we go here so we need to turn on it and uh, this action has different types we can uh, hook this to uh, a back we can hook this to a bookmark it can be drilled through uh, q a wonderful feature so right now for our tutorial we're gonna see a uh, bookmark so under the bookmark option we have a uh, different bookmarks available in this report so i'm gonna show i have selected a bar chart button so i want to show bar chart when we hit this thing so I'm gonna give a pretty neat uh, tooltip. Uh, show me the bar, bar chart. Okay, I'm gonna copy it for future reference, and again uh, do the same action for and short button to type bookmark. Uh, I, okay we have done that we are almost done so now we're going to call the control and do right click yeah because it uh, it's already have a bar chart in the view so right now we're gonna click the control and uh, click the chart line chart button yeah it working pretty nicely again when I go back to the bar button and click it, yeah, it's taking some time. Yeah, we achieved it. And using this, we can do a several uh, use cases for our, for your client. So uh, we have built a few use cases for investment strategy for ESG clients. So we use this approach to simplify their transition approach. So we're gonna. Uh, hide this for a while yeah so we have reviewed this created this thing so when i have hit the bar so i'm gonna show the bar when i hit the lion i'm gonna hit the lion and uh, similar to that we have a filter option when you hit the filter so this pops up the filter panel so you can have a different things so so I will explain how to create this filter panel using the buttons in the next video. Okay, until then, see you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.